Man Sport. Everything for the man. Hey, hey Terry Antonis and Mitch uh, Malia from Sydney FC. Thank you so much for joining us here at uh, EFTN. Boys, how's the season going so far? No, it's really been had an uh, up and down season. We've been doing well in patches and just got unlucky results, but I think we're doing pretty well in the top six now, so we're still getting the semis. Is that, uh, has it been following the, the goals for the season? Are you fulfilling what you, where you thought you'd be and how you thought you'd be travelling at, at this point? Of course, like at the start of the season, every, everyone aims for that, them top two positions. Um, we're, um, we're still working hard to, to finish in, in the top, the top um, part of the table. So um, we haven't achieved our goal just yet, but we're, we're still working hard to, to, um, to do so. Of course, you guys have some pretty big name players on, on the roster for this season, especially uh, Brett Emerson. How um how have the these big guys, these internationals, who have you know kind of flooded the A League scene, especially for this season? How has that affected uh, the team and, and how they're performing? No, definitely. Uh, Emma came into the team and is a great person to have around, a great player. Uh, he's helped us heaps, like just on the field, just watching the training, gives you good advice. So and on the football pitch, and he helps us as well. So. It's great. At first, when they when they come in, like you can, like you sort of get um, starstruck. You know what I mean? You sort of like, whoa. But then, but then when you get to know them and, and learn that they're just down to earth people, that it makes it so much more easier for you. You guys are both really young players. You know, quite early on in your career. Does that give you a bit of confidence knowing that uh, these guys who have matched it in the Premier League uh, and, and, and Syria and you know leagues like that? Does it give you confidence knowing that you know you could potentially be up there one day too? Yeah, definitely. It does. It's definitely. Um, as you say, Emma gives you good advice and it's great. Awesome. Um, for the, for the, the final part of the season, what, what are the goals going to be? Uh, do you have you set anything different now, knowing where you are on the table and how the other teams are performing? We sort of just work week to week, you know what I mean? We just um, concentrate on, on the game that's coming up. We don't, like, we'll analyse the game that's passed, but we don't dwell on it. We just make our focus for the... Um, the, for the game coming up, and, and yeah, we take one game at a time and, and um, hope we can start getting some, some results. Great. Um, tell us a bit about what it's like to be an A-League player. Obviously, there's a lot of domestic travel involved, uh, a fair few games quite close together, and you've got to go to New Zealand every now and then. What, what is it like being on the road that much uh, at such a young age? It's a dream coming true, really. Or you rather do this than go to work, but you've been doing this all your life, so it's a dream come true. And how much, uh, how much training is involved and how much effort does it take to, to be up with these guys? Um, well, yeah, we, we train, train uh, for some, like four five times a week. Um, we've got like, great coaching staff and, and, um, and so we, we base our sessions, like if we just train after a game, it's not going to be intense. but. But when um, midweek and we have intense sessions, all the boys, all the boys um, go give 100 percent, and yeah, so it's structured very well like that. Great. And uh, you've got a, a fairly decent off season, um, and also during the during the season, a few times. So I guess you guys have a couple of days off here and there. Uh, what do you guys get up to when you got a bit of spare time? I uh, just spend it with the family, really. Just my brother, my sister. And all my family, so just spend time with them and get ready for the next season. Right, what about you, Mitch? Yeah, oh, I like to just, um, of course, hang out with the family, the girlfriend, but um, play a lot of, quite a bit of PlayStation yep. in my spare time, so, so yeah. Well, you've just uh, convincingly beat us on, on FIFA 12, and that's uh, one of the reasons why we're here, to have a bit of a go at a new game. What do you guys think of it, just overall? It's a great game, especially when you're playing football and you get to play it as well, but it's definitely an unbelievable game to play. Yeah, FIFA is unreal. We've always played FIFA. We've probably got every edition since 99. <laughs> and um, even if I wasn't playing football, I'd still be playing FIFA. So it's good good to to um, to um have both. Obviously, the, the level of realism in the game now is, is far more than it was back in yeah. the 99 edition. But, um, you know, you can... You can Dribble really well. You can do a whole heap of tackles. You can, you can probably injure people. Yeah. Where where are the limits of of the game for you guys? Is there any time where you've been playing the game and you've thought, I would like to do something that I can do on the field, but you know the button combinations here are too hard, or I just can't quite get that that level of realism. Yeah, yeah. of course. Like 
every now and then you can fluke a goal from halfway and stuff, and and you just wouldn't really try that in, on um, in the in the A League. Um, and of course, if if you can get good um, good skill with the control, then you can beat five or six players with one player. But you don't really do that um, by yourself on the game. So that's probably the limit. And there, are there any times where you actually look at a couple of the moves on the game and, and sort of think, how how do I do that? Can you, is that something I can sort of practice? Yeah, it definitely. It is when you press the analog stick and it does some tricks and you're just like, whoa. I understand, and, and you can learn from it. Like, no joke, if, if you get into a situation on FIFA and, and you can work out how to get out of it, come a game time, you just, you can um, remember back to what happened on FIFA and, <laughs> and yeah, not, not like... It won't be a mirror image of it, but you can still get the right concept. So, how, how competitive are you guys? When you play FIFA 12, what teams are you using? Be honest, don't come to uh, Sydney FC. No, I use uh, Chelsea. Chelsea? Yeah. Nice. Manchester United. Is that, uh, for you guys, does it give you a bit of a buzz to be able to play with some of the big name players in some of the, the really big top leagues in the world? Yeah, definitely. With uh, playing Chelsea, you've got Torres, and I love Torres as a striker. And playing for them, scoring for them, it's good. <laughs> of course, you've got your players all over the park who, who um, are all quality, they're all quick, all are strong, so it's just, it's sort of the best of the best. Nice. Um, and I guess, what's what's your favourite, uh, what is your favourite team? Is it Chelsea, or do yeah. you like them because of the players? No, my favourite team is Chelsea. I've been going with them since I was small, so nice. I stay with them. Exactly the same with Manchester United, I've been yep. following them all my life, and, and yeah. Do you find if you use a different team or a better team, a team of high quality, with a better player roster in the game, it's easier to win? Or do you find that, uh, especially when you set the difficulty level a little bit harder, if it starts to uh, become more about your skill? Uh, it depends against your opponent as well, who you're playing against. But to me, I find that it's easier when you have fast players up front. But it depends who you're playing against. Yeah, like if, you, if you've you got all players and they're all quick and stuff, it makes it easier, but different formations work different against other formations, if you know what I mean. So so um, different teams will, will beat different teams easier and you might have trouble with other teams. So There's going to be a lot of young young guys out there playing FIFA 12, getting really into football, especially now that the A-League's uh, had a, a few solid years of rebranding and it's really become one of the more popular sports in Australia. What sort of advice would you give young guys who want to get involved or you know, even parents who want their kids to sort of get involved because I'm, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of parents playing this going, oh, you know, it's a bit too late for me but maybe I can push little Johnny into it. How do you do it? What, what uh, advice would you give? Just go out there and give it your best. Never let anyone put you down and just try your best. Exactly right. Um, you, you you'll learn that um, like the scouts and stuff will be any game and you don't know it. So take every game as it comes. Give a hundred percent, and yeah, you never know what can happen. And um, for for both of you, where do you see the the next few years going? For you, do you have like some sort of master plan in, in mind? You know, in your wildest sort of dreams, or are you quite happy with just slowly evolving in the A League and then? You know, hopefully, like you guys say, some of the scouts seeing you guys play, uh, you know, the, the top league in Australia, and hopefully get a shot, uh, you know, overseas perhaps. Uh, definitely, uh, I've got another two more seasons here, so I'm happy to stay here. And after the next, after the next two seasons, just we're gonna see what happens. So maybe go overseas, maybe stay here. Again. So whatever one's still good. Awesome. Yeah, right. yeah I've, um, I just signed here for two seasons, so I'm, I'm looking forward to. To give them my all for these two seasons, and and I'd lo love to re-sign for Sydney, and and then maybe one day go overseas. But, but um, yeah, very happy with Sydney. When FIFA 13 comes out, and hopefully they'll have you know, beautifully rendered versions of both of you. What uh, if you had some sort of special ability? What would it be? Um, if we could make our own ability That's for it. myself, doesn't have to be realistic. Um, Oh, probably Cristiano Ronaldo's shot power. Nice. Yeah. Probably Messi's ball control. How far off are you from having uh, something like that? Pretty far off. <laughs> Everyone is far off Messi, but. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Mitch, Terry, thank you very much for uh, speaking with us, and good luck for the rest of the season. Nice, thank, thank you. you.